This video is about single women who are also mothers and what men need to know about them before they get into a relationship with them. My friend once told me that he dated an older woman who was also a mother as a result of a previous marriage. She then began talking about getting married, which finally led her to ask him if he would have to adopt her son and support her and him for the rest of their life, even though he hardly knew her. Fortunately, my friend saw right through it, and they broke up. Most men don't though, and when they do, they often find that they were coerced into doing something that the mother had intended all along. And if they do, they face criticism from society for leaving an amazing woman alone and failing to support her as she navigates her difficult existence. He also discussed how urban women differ greatly from those who reside in the remote rural West. They frequently marry early because they want companionship and children who will one day assist them take care of the land. They are secluded by their rural lifestyle. Thus, they don't value themselves the way metropolitan women do. They therefore gain a lot of weight and rely on males to support them for the rest of their life. Divorcees frequently relocate to metropolitan areas where they need help to meet eligible men. And those who do date them are anticipated to get married and have children with them as well. So, I applaud my friend who rejected the mother because he then would have been forced to look after a woman who's had her fair share of lovers in the past and would have been asked to take care of a child that wasn't his. For the woman, it would have been a big score if he had agreed to her terms. The women had probably moved to the city for a lack of luck in finding a wealthy farmer or rancher's young son, willing to take the role of a husband and father for an overweight woman. Female empowerment has led to a steady rise in urban populations, as women start to move away from rural areas to the cities in order to be independent, they also sometimes move with the children that they've had from their previous marriages. In rural areas, men work hard on their farms and ranches so they don't have time to play women's mind games and be manipulated all the time. Women tend to move to the cities so that they can live and work independently, chasing the feminist narrative of being strong, successful, and independent women. Nothing could be worse for a child than for its mother to divorce one of its parents and fail to offer a nurturing, secure, and safe home for the child. At the most fundamental level, they have already failed. Another reason why dating a single woman with kids is not an ideal thing to do is because her obligation to care for and protect her child will always come first. So there is no incentive to get into a relationship with such a woman. To put it another way, in such a relationship, you can never expect to be anything other than second choice at most. You will always come last for such a woman. After the pandemic, especially when working remotely became normal, many have already moved back to rural areas with basic internet connections and the availability of electricity in order to live more peaceful lives. They've done this to reduce their costs of living such as utilities and transport and be safe from viral pandemics, such as COVID-19, which are far more likely to have outbreaks in crowded cities. So now, it is easier for mothers from rural areas to target men who have moved to rural areas in search of a more peaceful living. This is where men will need to stay vigilant and not be manipulated into marriage with these women, because they will come on strong and push for marriage and the adoption of their children. If we look at relationships closely, they are all about power struggles. Women tend to use the notions of love to keep men in their control. Having kids with these women allows them to use men's resources more openly and to their advantage. And women are very shady when it comes to their resources. I have yet to meet a woman who is generous with what she earns or has inherited. And yet, they expect men to work hard all their lives and just hand over the money to these women who only occasionally spread their legs apart for them in order to keep these men hooked to them. Men are now realizing this and not giving in to this manipulation as much as they used to in the past. Men have had enough of the tests and the games and have been burnt far too often to know what women truly want. Yet there are men who are still far from this and this is why women still continue doing this even today. Simps who don't have strong willpower are easily seduced because women find out their weaknesses and exploit them. 
A woman who's really great in bed will always be a weakness for weak men. Men need to realize that the hour of pleasure they have in the bedroom is not unconditional. The woman you're dating or are supposed to marry is only doing that so she can get your resources in the long term to finance her life and fuel her material and societal wants. She's using you for the social value of being married to someone stable, to make a network of friends or potential future suitable partners in case this goes wrong, and to have access to funds that allows her decent food, designer handbags, and vehicles. Also, men in rural areas might be strong physically, but they are not as intellectually refined as men in the cities. This is probably why rural men fall for rural women all the time in their early years and get into marriage and have kids only to go for a divorce when they later find out the manipulative side of women. Men in cities who move to rural areas know better, and that is why women go for such guys in the first place, because they know if they manipulate them once, then they're probably intellectually superior to those men, and then they can push them towards marriage and a stable life with someone earning from a city job that pays much more than someone working in a farm. For such men, what starts as a simple move to the rural areas in search of some peace and quiet, turns into a marriage that swiftly becomes a case of adoption, of them having to share their resources with a single rural mother, and eventually divorce. Women are known to live and thrive in packs, so even if rural women who move to the city get in a relationship with men, they eventually try to persuade them to move back to their rural areas so that the women can be closer to their circle and community of women. That makes it easier for the women to manipulate and control their men when they have their tribe of solo moms around them to constantly tell them what to do next. They can then also be closer to their own families, where they can use their influence in the area through their brothers and fathers. One of the most important reasons for not dating such women is that it's obvious they've made some horrible decisions in the past. She's made some extremely awful decisions in the past, which is the main deterrent to dating a single woman with children. It goes without saying that you need to consider a person's history and past choices. Depending on the situation, the decisions they made in the past are a good indicator of the decisions they will make in the future and the quality of those decisions. Therefore, it is okay that the woman was married to a military guy. It was not her fault. She didn't make a bad decision. It has to do with the situation. Do you really want to be linked with someone who has demonstrated such poor judgment? However, if she has only been with the worst type of men and is now a single woman with children to care for, would you be shocked if they continue to behave in such a foolish manner in other circumstances? So let a person's history and present behavior provide you some insight into what they could do in the future. Thanks for watching The Circle of Kings. As always, we're looking forward to your support. So please hit the like button, share this video with your friends, and subscribe to the channel to stay updated with everything all kings like yourself need to know.